Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. In this episode, I'm going to take you to Newport Beach and we're going to metal detect the wedge. While we're metal detecting, we're going to discuss my realistic expectations every time I go out hunting. And after that, we are going to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It giveaway contest. And at the end of this video, we will have another Would You Dig It giveaway contest. So let's get started. Hey guys, we are back to metal detecting the beach today and I'm loving the work that they're doing here at this home in Newport Beach. So, I was trying to think of what I wanted to do for my tutorial Tuesday. And the only thing I really wanted to do was go metal detect. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be practicing golf right now. Because I have a Monday qualifier coming up this Monday. Which is why I want to do my tutorial Tuesday right now. So, guys, we are going to metal detect the beach. And talk about what our expectations are when we're out metal detecting. And this could be for whatever you do. Look at this, when the winds blew, the sidewalk got completely covered by sand. You can see the sidewalk up here. So that means there might be some high spots exposed like right here. High spot exposed over here. I find old coins back here. This area is really old and that's the wedge right there. But I usually walk this area on the way back in and I like to go straight to the water whenever I get to the beach. So let's talk about what our expectations are when we're metal detecting for our Tutorial Tuesday episode number seven. And we will be doing the Would You Dig It uh, winner selection from last week. There's a few of them that guessed it right. Or a few of you who guessed it right. Oh man, it is gorgeous out here. Guys, I'm wearing a jacket because it's just a little brisk. All right, but I really don't need it. It's just... I'm wearing it just in case. Oh, please be something good here. Oh no, it's... There might be a little cut here. And a little washout. Let's detect underneath this little washout. I haven't been here in a while. You know, I've been cleaning up Bolsa Chica since the windstorm. So... When we talk about my expectations of being out metal detecting, oh man, those waves look good. They're just too close to shore breaking. That's going to mean they're skimboarding down there. So let's scoot to the wedge and watch them skimboard. So right off the bat, my expectation is I want to see good stuff that's happening at the beach. Well, there's a surface find. Wonder if they dropped, they look scratched. Made in China. Alright, well, let's get them off the beach. It's really hard to get my foot in here. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Like, every foot every footstep I take, hold on. Are you ready? I think. Ready? Yeah. So, as I take a step, I'm sinking, so I have to... That means the sand is super soft, right? So I'm gonna probably walk up here to the dry sand, since this area is kind of a washout. This is called the towel line, if you look. Well, everybody kind of hangs on the towel line area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom on down in the wedge. Alright, I may have a good target here. Here 
right, let's check this one out. It's awfully light. Sometimes earrings are made to be light and hollow. But that was deep, guys. All right. Interesting. A little greening right there. Okay, I'm gonna zip that one up. Bring it up at 13. Like those numbers. And the bottle cap I was originally going after. It's right behind me. Oh, I think that's going to be bottle cap for sure. Yep. All right, let me fill this in so you guys see the wedge here. There's skim boarding over there. We'll go take a look at it. But why there's no one really around this area, I'm gonna hit it. I try to stay away from people. And here's an eight. An eight right near that gold earring. Uh, see. I've probably already dug my 24 bottle caps. You guys haven't seen it yet. I'm a little exhausted from it already. See what I mean? It's just bottle cap galore. That might be pool tab. Pool tab. All right. So when we talk about expectations, you know, you really have to think about it. Do I expect to find a ring every time I go out hunting? Well, certain beaches like this I do, you know, um, at certain times of the year. In the middle of February, no. But it's nice out here, there's girls in bikinis, you know. Can't ask for anything better. That's why I pay the high rent. Some people say, oh. another 12, 13. I'm digging it. All right, I think the way it's cutting out, I'm thinking. It's a rusty bottle cap. Did you dig it? I dig it. It is a rusty Corona Extra bottle cap. Lucky guy. Three to one ratio is always nice at the beach. That's a one. I usually just throw those out or foot sweep them, but ever since I see something shiny, oh, that's foil. That's what you would expect it to be. All right, back in the 70s, or 70s, gosh, how old am I? Back in the 80s, I found a foil wad, but it was not a wad, it was uh um, what, what's that stuff called? Hashish. 
hashish, yeah. I guess it'd be worth quite a bit of money back then for sure. I don't know about today, but. Here's another solid 13, maybe. Enough 12, 13 this way. Let's see what it is this way. Odds are, it's a 80% chance pool tab. And it's a 10% chance it's a nickel. And then actually 100% chance it was a pool, a, a bottle cap. <laughs> uh, I do love the views around here at times. Yep, you gotta always keep your eyes open here. Can you see the harbor there? You see the boats go in and out of the harbor? Well, I'll walk over there. I see something gold sticking out of the ground over here. I'm gonna investigate. It's probably trash. But you know, shiny stuff in the ground always catches my eye from a distance. Whoop. See, the trash can used to be right there. So now I can't find my gold object. I took the eye off the prize. But I think I determined it was trash from back there. That's how quick it goes, huh? All right, guys, here is the harbor. Another bottle cap. That's what it is. You guys didn't want to see me dig a bottle cap. Let's get over to the water's edge. I don't even, I haven't found a fish weight yet. I normally always do. This area's been detected. Must have been done a lot lately, even though I found a lot of, of uh, I'm only gonna dig if it's a really good, sharp, high tone. This is all rock right here. You guys hear that, right? There it is, right? I'll just pick it up. Oh, we finally got a coin. <laughs> uh, look at that. Look at that water so crystal clear right now. What is that shiny? That is a disappeared. Where'd it go? Uh oh, what'd she see? She saw something. She's backtracking. She found something in the water. All right, threw it in. Proud of her. She's earning her karma points, removing the trash. Hopefully, it was something good. You know, that's going to be a buried aluminum can. I 
out. <laughs> Am I really gonna find coins over here? I did. That's funny. I guess, you know. Never detected right here, but I wanted to show you the harbor. So, nice little cove right over there, but that is Corona Del Mar Beach. And further down would be uh, Crystal Cove. That point you see way, 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 way down there. That point, Stana Point. So, yeah, it's a very, That's bottle cappy right there. Oh, but very rocky, so I'm not even going to challenge it. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. You ever find anything good? I do, I do. Oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. So it is a beautiful day. That's the best find yet. Right? <laughs> you too. Everybody asked me that, guys. Everybody. And the problem is, is I was so focused in on her rings. Did you see those rings, guys? Oh my goodness. And she was out here. And she could have dropped some of those diamond rings. If she was goofing off, that would have been fantastic. Jim needs to find it. Right? Wouldn't that be fantastic if Jim found a diamond ring right now? That'd be great. By the way, that's not part of my expectations. I do uh, like to find rings. I don't expect to find rings, but you know, you get to the point sometimes, you go to certain beaches and you kind of say, well, almost every time I go there, I do. Eighteen, nineteen, probably a sinker or a, oh, that's not it. Probably a uh, bottle cap. I don't know if I could dig any deeper. That's like, ah. Uh. Let's try a little bit wider. Got it out. It's a ring. We were just talking about it. <laughs> you never know what you find. That's a good question. Possibly. All right. Possibly. Fine, baby. Huh? Fine. Maybe. <laughs> it's got uh, some nice color to it, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I take it to a tester on that. I gotta take that little diamond tester to it. Exactly. Wow. And I was just. Uh, talking to my YouTube channel saying that uh, I, I don't always expect to find a ring <laughs> but sometimes beaches keep giving it up <laughs> so guys I wanted to air that entire clip from the time I found the gold earring all the way around to I found the ring and then the guy and I had a long conversation there for a while so that's why I cut that off on there but Finding a ring is common for me when I hunt the wedge. But it's not part of my expectations. 
I walked probably about a mile and a quarter from where I entered in and only thing I dug was bottle caps and maybe a few pool tabs. Those were the only good targets that were on the beach until I got to that tower and found that gold earring. And then you saw I found a dime and then a penny and then the ring. That is kind of my expectations. Random targets. And I've always targeted bottle caps because it's a mental game I play. The mental game I play is if I can dig 24 bottle caps, I get to have a beer. But the honest truth is, the game that I really play is try to dig 100 bottle caps without finding a ring. Never done that. Comment below if you can do that. All right, now I detect the beaches here in Huntington Beach. So if you're a park hunter, maybe that's totally different because I know I can go to a park and dig a hundred pool tabs where I can find a coin, you know. But here at the beach, if you're metal detecting the beach and you're targeting bottle caps, and that's the only thing you're gonna target, could you find a hundred bottle caps before finding a ring? I've never done it 33 years. Never done it. So I've come close. I think I've dug probably about 70 something bottle caps before I found a ring. But guys, I find a lot of gold rings that originally sound like bottle caps. So that's really why I say I target bottle caps. Because in the dry sand when I hunt after work, I'm digging a lot of bottle caps. So say I dig 24 bottle caps, I get my beer and occasionally I find a gold ring. So it's a win-win situation and those are my expectations. Okay guys, I got another target here. Out already. And it's a fish weight. Yay! You wouldn't think I'd be excited about a fish weight. You know, it's not a bottle cap, and it's something heavy. <laughs> Even though I did find a ring, I'm hoping that ring's nice. But I don't know. You don't know until you know, right? Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. You got it. Oh! <laughs> Might get some mist on the. Now that's a nice cut right there. Talk about expectations. This is one of them. Well, I was hoping to get be able to get down there by that cup, but more and more people started sitting up on the top of it. <clears throat> so I didn't want to disrespect anybody, and I can always come back. Besides, I've hit some of this low area that usually pays off okay with me, and I didn't get anything either. So I imagine it's pretty quiet over there. I was lucky to find that one ring that I got. So guys, when we talk about our expectations of going out metal detecting, to me, I exceeded my expectations today. Alright? My target 
was 24 bottle caps. I exceeded that with much more garbage. I found a new tennis ball for my dog Haley. I found some rainbow duct tape that's still good. All right, kind of a a wood uh, loader. You guys didn't see this because my battery was dead. That thing was loud. It's a trailer, you know. Um. And then you guys didn't see me find this because that was on the exit. See, once again, I find these. This, guys, this was four, almost five hours. Just to let you know. All right. Found some Zillas. I pair. I call these uh, Zillas. Uh, I don't remember the reason why. It's a, a thing for us metal detectors here. Um, I don't remember why. Okay. They're called Godzilla glasses. They're crap glasses, right? I think because it used to be cheap Japanese products and then it switched to cheap Chinese products. Whatever, all right? The lighter that I found works, all right? Barbecue, always need a lighter. Okay, um, little gold-plated barrette, you know? That'll turn to junk probably here pretty soon. Okay, I got one quarter, a dime, two nickels, four pennies, a one ounce sinker. Uh, I think I found this one first, right? Um, so this is heavy. There's no marking on it. It's just heavy. So I got to get a closer look at it. So we'll look at that closer together, okay? Maybe put that under a magnifier. Same with this. I did scope it. Okay. I believe that to be... Man, that is one nice opal, fire opal. If that's really real, I think it's fake. It's moderate light. All right, it did ring up 16, so we know we find gold at 16. Okay, guys. This side is the earring, and this side is the ring. I know they're kind of this is a little too wide for me. I probably should have done them one at a time. But I like to do multiple because I can just take a couple of drops at the same time. So this one is the 14 karat acid. Let's see if you can. All right. Let's see back in on that. So here is the 14 karat acid. We'll go to the top. All right. Okay. Let me add just a little bit more to this. All right. Let me get a little bit more light on this subject. See if that light is going to help. I see actually both of them staying strong. Oh, that's 22. Sorry, I didn't mean to go that. Let me go 18 carat. All right. I'm put 18 carat here. I'll put 18 carat here. Well, that dissolved right away. And just out of curiosity on this side, I'm just going to put 10 carat right in the middle and hopefully they don't bleed in each other. Okay, so I'm going to say both of them are 14 karat gold. 
because this is still pretty good. 18 karat gold got eaten up. I can still see the gold there. And then look at the 10K staying strong as can be. So 14K on both. Okay, guys, we got the diamond tester warmed up. And let's see if I can even see these. They're tiny. And it is so hard. All the way up to the top, guys. <laughs> there's, that's, there's no bullshit in that. When it shoots up to the top like that, there's no bullshit in that, guys. It's so bizarre because, you know... You guys know what happened, right? I was kind of mesmerized how that lady, you know, she had put her mask on and she had these huge diamonds on her ring. And I'm a child of a man who used to make a lot of jewelry. My dad was a amateur jeweler. He loved making really nice engagement rings and and so when I see really nice jewelry on somebody, it stands out. And as a metal detector, it really stands out. And when they're at the beach, it even then stands out more. Trust me, guys. When you get a metal detector, you'll start seeing more gold jewelry and more jewelry on people than you ever noticed before. It's just the way it is. And I just round the corner and beep, 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 and there it is. It's just dumb luck. I put the coil over the target. That's really all it is. So let's select the winner of the Would You Dig It episode from last week. All right, guys, I got one for you. I'm in beach mode number one. Beach mode number one, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's turn that up. Let's turn it to all metal mode. All right, let's go 90 degrees. All right, would you dig it? And what do you think it is? Be honest with you, I don't know what it is. I could give you my opinion, but it might change your mind. So, all right, let's dig this up. All right, so guys, comment below. Would you dig it? And if you would, let me know what you think it is. And you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Obviously two targets, so we've separated them. I think I'm missing it just there, huh? There it is. So target number one, since it's two targets, is a bottle cap. And target number two, probably a copper penny or a dime. Or a nothing. All right. So I must have missed it. Oh, I see it. It's a weedy. It's a weedy. Bottle cap and a weedy. And I'll show you a little bit of this beach. I haven't had much targets here today except for a bottle cap and a penny or a weedy. Really quiet here today. I only have a little bit of time after work and I was hoping I could. Uh, score something good here so hopefully I can
Okay, guys, let's select the winner of the Would You Dig It? Pick a winner. Must contain the words. Penny. And bottle cap. Of course. Congratulations, Corey Williams. Congratulations, Corey Williams. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section on my channel page. And I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. So, guys, we have another $25 Amazon gift card Would You Dig It giveaway contest coming up right now. Okay, guys, I got one for you. I'm in beach one. All right, all metal mode. Would you dig it? Let's move ninety degrees. All right. Comment below. Would you dig it? And if so, what do you think it is? And you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. So would you dig it? I dug it. Would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below. Tell me, would you dig it? Or wouldn't you dig it? And let me know what you think it is. And you have a chance of winning a $25 Amazon gift card, which we'll select in next week's episode of Tutorial Tuesday. So guys, while you're commenting about the Would You Dig It, also comment below about what your expectations are when you go out to Metal Detect. I do play these little mental games to keep me excited about going out and hunting. I know by playing those little games of digging 24 bottle caps after work to get my beer, that mental game that I play pays off in the long run. Like I said, I've never dug a hundred bottle caps without finding a ring. And I find a lot of gold rings that sound like bottle caps. So understand that my expectation is to find some bottle caps. Okay? And that's really my expectation of what I want to find. I know the treasure will eventually come on its own. It has. For 30 something years, it has. You saw dumb luck. I put the coil over a ring. How did I find that ring? How did I know it was there? I didn't. But what I did do is I put a coil over it. Instead of sitting on my butt and saying my metal detector didn't do this and my metal detector doesn't do that. What your metal detector is doing, if it's collecting dust, you're not using it and you're not hunting. And this whole episode has been about the people who have invested a lot of money in their metal detecting and they have nothing to show for it. And why? Because they're not hunting or they're not hunting the right places. And that's a key too, because my expectations, <coughs> excuse me, my expectations change depending on where I'm going. The wedge, I know I'm not going to get a ton of clad, depending on the type of year it is. If they had a huge surfing event, I might find a bunch of clad and maybe a couple of cell phones and some random stuff. In the summertime is a different story than the wintertime, right? Expectations in the wintertime are just that. You never know. And when I go on a scouting mission, the only thing I care about is learning something new. If I find something good, that's fantastic. But if I learn something new, that scouting mission was successful. 
And if I find a lot of great targets, that means that scouting mission says, hey, I'm going back. So I hit the trestles not too long ago and it certainly paid off. So I continue to hit it day after day after day. Bolsa Chica had a big windstorm. I wasn't detecting it because it was a trashy beach. Now it's a detectable beach. I mean, it's a difficult beach to detect, but it's detectable. So my expectations are, I'm going to dig a lot of trash, but I'm going to find a lot of clad. And it's much easier to find a lot of clad that are high tones than it is picking out the mid tones. Right? So I'm not digging a lot of nickels, but I'm getting a lot of quarters and dimes. And if you're going to be digging clad, that's what you want. And hence, that's why I'm finding more silver. And luckily, I've been finding some gold and some gold chains on that beach. Most of the actual gold was sight finds. I'm not kidding, they were sight finds. The bottle cap in one of the gold chains is why I actually found the gold chain. If there was no bottle cap right next to it, the 22 karat gold chain would not have been found by the Equinox unless it was balled up into a tight ball. It's just the way it is with those gold chains. You're sensitive, and especially next to fire pits. Don't know what to tell you on that, guys. We'll have to figure something out. I'm finding good gold chains because I know for sure the beaches are loaded with gold chains. I know that. We're not detecting them, but they're there. I might just drag a rake behind my butt <laughs> next time I go out to the dry sand. Anyways, guys, if you like my videos, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Ringing this bell and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video. And check out either one of these videos.